Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use your TI-84 graphing calculator in order to solve an equation like the one you see above, a cubic equation. And we're going to do this um, using the grapher and the intersection feature, the intersect feature of your graphing calculator. So, first things first is anytime you get an equal sign in an equation, doesn't matter how complicated things get, okay? This goes for the rest of the school year, really for the rest of your math career. If you can find a way to type this stuff into the calculator, if you know how to do x cubed and how to type in 4x squared and 96 and things like that, then you're going to be able to solve this problem using the grapher, which is pretty convenient because that'll help us with logarithms and exponents and power equations and all kinds of stuff later on. The idea is this. Anytime I have an equal sign, the left side of the equal sign, the stuff over here, becomes y1 and the, si the stuff on the right side is y2. I don't want to do any manipulation, I don't want to do any adding or subtracting or rearranging the equation, no nothing. Because every time that I rearrange, no matter how small it seems that that, that rearrangement was, I'm giving my myself a chance to screw up. So to eliminate errors, I'm just going to leave it just like it is. But um, I can't type it in the main screen, I need to go to y equals, and I'm going to type my two equations in. So on the left side, I get x cubed, oops, sorry, x cubed plus 4x squared minus 8x. That's y1. The right side is y2. That's 96. Okay. Now, when I graph this, my standard zoom window, there goes a line. Oh, there's that x cubed, right? There's that s curve that we kind of expected to see, but where's the 96? Oh, well, of course, here's the problem. Especially if I go to the table, you'll see it. Look what the y coordinates are. Oh yeah, the second line's all the way up at 96. And whenever we graph this, this only goes up to 10. So the second line is like way up here, right? So I need to adjust my window. That's gonna be one of the first things here is I'm gonna adjust my window and my Y coordinates, my maximum Y coordinate, hey, I gotta get the 96 in there. So maybe I'll just, really, I'm only interested in 96. So maybe I'll just go from 90 to 100 here, okay? Let's regraph it. So here's 90, here's 100, 96 is gonna be right there. There we go. And we can see that it crosses. Now, I'm not sure if I've got all of the locations correctly because I know, for instance, that I have this thing going on, right? And I don't know where that occurs. So another option for this, if you don't want to use the windows, I can come over here and I can use the very last option, which is called zoom to fit. Okay. And sometimes that will help us out. So let's just try it out. I haven't actually done this. I don't know what it's going to look like. Here's our S curve. Fantastic. Oh, there's 96. Holy moly, that really zoomed out for the y direction. But hey, there's 96 for a height. I can see that it crosses one time. I'm interested in solving for x, right? So there's only one spot that these lines cross. That means there's only one solution for x. Sometimes I might get like up to three here, really. But in this case, there's only one. So here we go. Ready? In order to find that intersection spot, I go second calculate. It's in blue. That's why I hit second to get to it, right? Everything is color coded. And I'm going to option five, which is the intersect feature. And it's going to ask me, which lines am I talking about? It's going to ask for the first line and the second line. So the first curve I'm interested in is this Y1, right? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over till I get somewhat in the neighborhood of the intersection point. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to say second curve, and now I'm talking about y2. The second line that I want to find is, is y2, which is right over here. Once again, I'm somewhat close, so I'm going to hit enter. And then one more time, I'm going to hit enter, and it's giving me the solution. Now, I'm not interested in what y is. Remember, I'm solving this problem, which is solving for x. So what I'm interested in is this right there. x is 4. And we're done. And the great thing about this is this is going to help us solve some word problems and other things here in just a minute. If we can find where two lines cross by using the intersect feature. Remember, second, calc, option five. Scroll over in the neighborhood of where the intersection happens and hit enter, enter, enter. And the x coordinate is what we're interested in. If you can remember that, hey, that's huge. We can solve any problem for x from here on out for the rest of the year.